Yeah. You're like, I do it all the time. You got a lot of beans. I will not lose this, but if you think you might lose this, take a picture of the back of it because it's going to be transponder information. Okay. Where is it? Station two. Station two right here, you guys. It is, because that's a whole different spot than before. Perfect. Need that. Yep. On to the next station. Yeah. Picture time. <laughs> serious face. <laughs> I like the serious face. I almost got kicked out of photo shoot because of the serious face. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, how you feeling? Oh, great. <laughs> oh. There you go, you got a big smile too. <laughs> yeah, you did get a really yeah, big smile. So this is a good... See? Yeah, good you didn't picture that, Russell. <laughs> hey. It's my side. It's my side. It's a good side. Is this station six? <laughs> yeah, no, over there. Over there, okay, perfect. <laughs> That bad, right? No. Oh, God. Just uh, the next day, I wasn't so great. I heard, yeah, because it's like what, <laughs> 6 a.m., 5 a.m.? Yeah, too early or too late. I don't know which one, but. Too early. Yeah. You should have waited till late. You should have at least gone and had like ham and eggs or something. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. For sure. I'll see you at dinner. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Bye, guys. Whoa. All right, hey man, so uh, what's your name? What are we doing here today? Uh, Justin Lofton, three-time men's 400 champion. Uh, we're out here at the uh, Dinner of Champions on Fremont Street. Uh, looks like we're gonna enjoy some great food, so really looking forward to it. All right, awesome. yeah, thank you, you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Just water. Just water? Yeah. And then uh, we do need, what did Lisa say she was gonna drink? <laughs> Alright, we're at Apex Nevada getting ready to qualify for the 2020 Mint 400. Uh, definitely one of the most challenging qualifying courses we have, as probably as you've seen in the past on social media, and as you'll see today. Uh, a couple miles an hour will make or break you uh, for your whole race weekend. And uh, you know we have okay luck out here. So today, Derek and I decided on our way out that we're going to let it uh, we're going to let it hang out, and uh, we're going to go for that number one spot. So we're uh, waiting on our time. Um, had a good lap, felt like I left it all out there. 
Uh, we had a couple, we had one big moment. Hopefully someone was there to capture it, but uh, it didn't slow us down. Landed on the wheels, grabbed another gear, kept going. So we, uh, we really think we're right there and uh, looking forward to the results. All right, so I'm here with Justin Lofton, and uh, Justin is the only three-time winner of the Mint 400 in its 50-plus year history. So we're looking to you for uh, a repeat here. Um, how do you feel about your qualifying run? Our uh, qualifying run was great. Apex is, uh, is, is a, one of the gnarliest places we go to, and uh, we, left it, we left it all out there on the course, and uh, there's going to be some photos that pop up that uh, prove that point, but uh, this truck worked great. Uh, Yokohama tires hooked up great, and, and our uh, Fox suspension worked, worked amazing, and uh, we put 1,100 horsepower to the ground, and hopefully it put us up top. Up top. Just for a thank you. Yeah. Uh, some quick certificate of appreciation from us. Uh, from fifth group, uh, support uh, special force group, and then in the army we give coins for. Uh, I didn't so, bring my. It's all good. So wait, I gotta yeah. buy beer tonight, right? Hey. Is that what the deal is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, I'm down. You're down. <laughs> all right, so we're here at South Point Hotel and Casino. Uh, again, backhoe cleaned up from qualifying today. Uh, had a solid run. Didn't ex didn't get the result that I uh, was hoping for, but uh, you know it's right in line with where we've qualified in the past at Apex and. Uh, no reason why we can't go out and win a fourth mint after uh, after with our starting position, but get backhoe cleaned up, get ready for the picker challenge tonight, and I uh, got a lot of things to do, tech and contingency tomorrow, a couple autograph sessions, and uh, get ready to race on Saturday. So busy busy schedule, let's keep going. <laughs> I am going to go surprise our special guests, our, I guess, honorary pick crew guys for the weekend with our new uh, cartoon shirt. So... Yeah, be cool. Be available soon on the website for everyone. So check out justinlofton41.com. All right, guys. So we got a special little surprise for you guys. Here's our new, newly non-released um, cartoon graphic shirt. So let me know what size everyone is. And I got a bunch of XLs. I got a couple. I got some larges. So we'll start with a large. Awesome. Awesome. Appreciate it. We'll get you in the back too. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Those are dope shirts. Sick. Exclusive for the first one. We are removing our 41 decal because we have been granted to be able to run the number one Mint 400 decal. So. Hopefully it'll become a new tradition that whoever wins the race gets to run the number and uh, hopefully we're doing it again next year. I'll put those on. I got a five-year-old that thinks you're the coolest guy ever, so. I'm the, I'm the second coolest guy. Dad's well, number one. Right, not to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here down on Fremont Street getting ready for the uh, driver's meeting and then uh, follow up by the picture challenge tonight. So got a lot of people out here, a lot of people that don't normally get to see what uh, we go through on a race weekend. So listen in, have some fun. We'll see you at the picture challenge. Running the number one plate, the only man to win the Mint 400 overall three times. Presenting Justin Lofton. Racing in the Zero One Celebrity Car. Presenting first, UFC fighter and the original bad mother <laughs> Donald Cowboy Sarandi. And UFC fighter, Brian T-City Ortega! Once again, we have over 400 uh, friends racing with us. So, yeah. And I always talk about this every year. Well, lie, that was kind of cool last, intro.
we're down here on Fremont Street for the 2020 Mint 400 Titan Contingency. Uh, signing posters here at the uh, Fox Factory booth. And, uh, getting ready for race day. One day to go and uh, a few things left to do. Got done here at the Yokohama truck uh, signing autographs. Had some really cool posters, uh, met a lot of cool people. So a lot of fun down here on Fremont Street, but it's time to get the truck through tech and uh, we're gonna go get everything ready and uh, we'll see you at team dinner. You guys, we just saw the tallest dude ever. Well, I talked for, to his belly button. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we're here at the South Point Hotel and Casino um, in one of the uh, awesome suites here. Uh, big thanks to the Gon family for uh, being longtime friends and always helping us out. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have our team meeting. I uh, got some food coming and go over our pit plan for tomorrow. Uh, so let's head inside and see what kind of shenanigans are going on. You ready? Go. All right. Here's the Grinch. Gen code time off. Champagne. Other new name for Frozen, and then El Jefe. That's our crew for tonight. Champagne, I'm a champagne. Yeah, you're a champagne. Am I on your reality show? Yeah. It was Wednesday. You're Genko Tidelock. Genko. No, <laughs> and he's a Grinch. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna go out on Green Street tomorrow. I'd rather be the Grinch than Genko Tidelock. Don't you call me. This is just like that. And it's a snapback. Whoop. All right, members of the squad. Oh, you made these like seven years ago. We can't. <laughs> I gave my daughter them. Did they like them? Yeah, they warm for a little bit. Yeah. We can eat though, right? Yeah, I just go ahead and start eating. God. Yeah, you can't eat that. Right? Yeah, 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 can't eat that. Right? Derek wants a shot. I'll just get right in here. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> With the any, other foot. Do you want any like serious close box, op box hey, openings right. or anything? Right. We'll get it right here. I mean, no, seriously, you want to. And we got right there, go ahead. Oh, I thought it'd be something different. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> get out. <laughs> get out of here. Damn, Finn. What are you getting for dinner? 
What are you gonna have? I'm gonna have some ribs. Okay. Do a little rib action. Huh? A little piece of corn so I can see it tomorrow. A little beans. Bean flavor. Steak. Yeah, I'm Is there any like barbecue sauce? What? We didn't have one. Oh, I mean, we knew we were going to see because Justin had never seen it. It was cool to go back. There's a rear suspension on those cars. Mm. Now, the car. the back right mm -hmm. It uses like six inches and there's 20 in the rear. Okay. It's Cody's surprise birthday cake. All right, so we have a special announcement. Tonight is Cody's 20th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Here, okay, because Happy birthday to him for his 20th birthday, like two years in a row now. <laughs> I'm not the youngest. That's the youngest right there. <laughs> Thank God. Hey, I wish I was the youngest person in this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 59, 71. <laughs> 71. Uh, so tomorrow, plan is Will's up 7 a.m. So be at the charts a little, huh? a little before seven. Brett, that would be uh, ten nine fifty your time. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah. got it. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to have an important moment right now. Just like Brett never left. <laughs> never left, causing problems. Uh, the plan is to stop three times at the main pit. Um, tires and fuel. So, Jason, you guys are in. Art's going to go to pit A in Derek's truck. Uh, he's going to link up with Wheeler's guys out there. Cody, Christian, I, I have you guys assisting on rolling tires in. We'll be running IMSAT, uh, probably doing most of our communication over that. I think we got a few tables and chairs to set up. We got some tablecloths. The Yokohama people will be there. We got engineers in from Japan, so want to make a nice little presence for them. And uh, they like what we're doing, and we uh, we'll just keep giving it to them, and they'll keep making things better for us. So, other than that, four laps, 106 miles. Lisa, you're on food, so we got sandwiches. I kind of labeled the bags. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Siri, how do you win the mid 400? Okay. Tell him to go fast. I found this on the web for how do you win the mid 400. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's scary. Other than that, thank you guys. It's right, good seeing you after two and a half years. I'm just at the team meeting. I don't speak during these things. I'm just letting you guys do your racing stuff. So it's great seeing all of you. Some of you not as much, but most of you. Oh, the camera. That's why he asked me a question so this guy would point that. I don't like it. I'm gonna have to get rid of all my cameras. Is not making them feel? I don't want to do it. No, I'll be somewhere. Wherever you think I should be. Main pit right now. It's so tight. Where are we? Especially if you have no sleeves. <laughs> Dude, <clears throat> I'm going to send you a whole catalog on muscle t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need muscles to wear them. That's where they trick you. Just <laughs> not in a whole wardrobe of clothing you don't know about. The breathability, the flexibility. <laughs> the look. <laughs> Derek walks out on a muscle tee and he'll be like, oh dear. Half <laughs> oh the West dear. Coast, big winds are just going to blow. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I'm going to... Derek oh, bought a muscle tee. <laughs> 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 oh God, here we go. All right, as you can tell, at uh, the end of the night, we, uh, we had some food. Um, we sang Cody happy birthday. So this is, I think, his second or third year with us that we're actually singing happy birthday at the Mint. So 
it's time to go get some sleep. We got an early morning tomorrow and a long day, 428 miles of probably one of the roughest races we do all year. I know we say that every time, but this is honestly probably one of the roughest races. So uh, looking forward to a good day. Let's go get some sleep. <laughs> Alright, it's race morning. Uh, we're out here at Prim Valley. Uh, getting a pit set up. Uh, we're going to go out and do a quick little uh, walk of the infield course and uh, you know see what we have. But uh, really excited. Uh, hopefully we, uh, we can come home with another win here. And, and if not, a, uh, you know, a really good showing for our Yokohama Tire uh, Fox Factory uh, Unlimited truck. And uh, we'll see what we got. It's uh, starting sixth. Got some good guys in front of us. Got some good guys behind us. And I think we're right where we need to be to uh, pace this race. And come home with another win. All right, so we're at the Mint 400 uh, grid block here, getting ready to go racing. Uh, starting six, got a, got a lot of good guys in front of us, a lot of good guys behind us, so got to stay in line and uh, get it done here, so looking forward to it.
Get the light bar. Copy light bar, we'll get the light bar on the truck. It's our last pit. We've had a challenging day. We're going to uh, fuel him one more time, put a light bar on, and see if we can make up a couple spots. Will be a flag of it or a light bar? These pins, these, these pins have to stay. These pins can stay. So we made it to the uh, finish of the mid 400. We made all 426.2 miles. Um, it was a long day. We had a lot of kind of random stuff happen to us, but uh, but we're here. It was brutal. Um, Derek did a great job next to me, and uh, crew did a great job, and, and uh, Cody and uh, Christian helping in the shop. It was awesome. So a uh, big thank you to all the all the pit crew that came out and helped us, and uh, we we'll get this thing prepped and on to San Felipe. Where's the tractor? Where do they go? I gave it to my dad. I got them both. Oh. Do we know where they go? No. Oh. We don't need to go across the stage, right? Yeah. Oh. Nice I'm meeting you. I'm on the seat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Proof. Yeah. Thank so you very much. he already looking on some changes on the side valve to make it a little bit stronger. He looked on the tires. So we're gonna see some of those. Uh, we have some, some new time. Okay. Good. <laughs> we gave it. Yeah, we get, we gave it everything we got. I know you did. So <laughs> it was clear. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank yeah, you so you're much. Welcome. So okay. all right. Not the race, uh, you expected or wanted. No, no, definitely not. But uh, hey, you know what? We made all all the miles. Um, that's always important to do, and uh, had a lot of weird stuff. Weird stuff happened, but I uh, will say we did go 150 miles an hour. So I did break my pre break this truck's previous record of 147. So um, so that's pretty cool. 